Alright, so today I'll be making a update on both tanks, because I did get the other tank, <coughs> tank up and running, so... Uh, I did get a few new fish for the Y20. I got three Violetta Corvies. There's one. Swim away. I don't know if you can see him by that jungle valve. Right there, the jungle valve in the back. And there's one right there in the center. Uh, then I, I got two pygmy cores as well. Not sure where they are. There's my other, my normal quarry. Ram. Not sure where the pygmies are. They're probably, they're so small, they're probably chilling somewhere. Usually behind the, or under or behind the driftwood. And then my ram spawned again. Probably just let the fry get eaten again or whatever happened to them last time. Because I could not care for them because I'm going to put them 30 when I get the chance. Hmm. Trying to think. Yeah, but my ramps have really uh, colored up. As you can see, no, you can't because he's in the back, but he has gotten a lot more orange on his uh, pectoral fins and his top fins colored up and he looks good. Same with the female. See the fry. And then I'm also going to be coming out with uh, three new videos today this update, then how to lower your pH in the tank, then how to breed the German rams. Uh, as for plants, uh, nothing new, just a lot of growth. See there, they're going crazy. Uh, foxtail, it's, it's actually getting pretty big now. Wisteria is growing up and out of the tank. I did get free duckweed the other day. It must have, uh, I, I, I asked for a duckweed too. So I got that, and then I also originally had a lot. Must have came in a bag or something. All that duckweed. It just been it's just been growing for since a month, month and a half ago, month and a half ago basically. So I'm hoping it takes over. Well, not like, covers the top a little bit of shade if the 96 watts. Neon's doing fine. I think I'm gonna feed them because it touch the water. They look good. Same with the glow lights. They're all doing good. Um, I, I did get new root tabs and so I'm not using the flourish root tabs anymore. And where are they? Uh, the API plant root tabs. It's got iron and potassium and a few other stuff. Unlike the flourish, it cuts out the uh, fluff, I, as I call it. It just it has a lot of iron, a lot of potassium, and just a little bit of... Uh, Whatever, I've used three already in the tank. As you can tell. Yeah, I would definitely recommend recommend these over the uh, API root tabs. So, Steria's growing pretty well. Jungle Val. I will also, I'll, I'll send you guys a free thing of Jungle Val. You will pay for shipping. That's my only thing, because I have a lot. I'll give you, like, one free thing of the corkscrew. Normal Val. Your choice, but yeah, it's limited to like whatever I have because I have a, I have a lot, but it'll probably be get picked up pretty quick. I probably won't expect you guys to have any of it or want any of it, but you do have to pay for shipping because I will not pay for shipping, but you get the plant for free. Uh, they're gonna ask about fry. Sure, if they grow out, you can have them for uh, like two bucks a piece, but I'm not gonna pay for shipping. Yeah, I really don't. I really don't want that many fry. I want. I want to keep like two pairs. That's it. So I have like a little bit of rams, and I can just have them because they do look nice. Um, sword. Yes, my sword is kicking pretty good. It's doing awesome. Here, I turned off part of the lights because the it looks really bad quality because the camera can't pick up on the colors. You can see all the new leaves are there. The dwarf hair grass is doing good. It's growing. I won't pick up on the contrast, but it will. As you can see, new growth, new growth there, there, camera hog, ram, uh, a bit new growth there, and then in the back too, I got some growth. There's the violet decor again, they're pretty small, still babies, they'll grow. And I would definitely recommend these two, the Haruki sinking wafers, they're pretty good, I like them, they were good, everyone likes them. I have to put three in almost every time because of the, uh, because the rain.
Sometimes they'll eat one by themselves. They'll kind of push around everyone. Uh, but the Tetris themselves, they'll keep picking at one, and I have to give one for the Cory Cats. Now moving over to the 30. Um, as you can see, I have it set up. Just have an Aquion 50 filter, rated 50 gallons on the 30. Piece of driftwood, heater. Eheim Jagger. I put a little bit of duckweed in, as you can see there. Probably spread. And there's a lot behind the filter because my thermometer is still not up. I set up yesterday, so it's still a little cloudy, as you can see. A little bit of cloud. Um, the light I'm using is the Aquatic Life Fixture Expandable Series. So I got two freshwater ones and put them together to make four. Yeah, I, I think the colors are really good. And I got a nice deep sand bed here. So I shouldn't have any problems like I did with that tank because I didn't have enough, nearly enough dirt or sand. This is not dirted, so it is what it is. I think all my plants will grow fine. Nice and deep. It'll vary though because like I can't have the sand as deep by the filter intake because it'll suck all the sand up and I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. Um, yeah, so kind of a longer update, but that's it for this video. Please rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe. Oh, this thing's also cycling right now, doing fishless, so yeah.